Welcome back everybody to a brand new episode of Super Mario RPG. Previously, we... Oh, good. We finished the uh, Parody of the Sea. We got our brand new, spanking brand new star piece. And we gave it away to uh, Yardovich. So, today we are going to be going to Yardovich, but... I'm going to swap out Bowser if I can remember where the fuck to do it. Yep. So I'm going to switch in Gino and switch out Bowser. So we can have a new party for the next area we're going to go to. So let's go. So basically to find where Yardovich is, you just got to go for where he went. You can check this door here and it says that it's locked. Did we actually heal? So go here and we see Yardovich. Late's late. It's taking him so long. We need to get out of here. It's just great. Mario caught up with us. Only one thing to do now, although we may rust a little, we have to swim for it. Not so fast there. Start to give to me, mate Mario. You spineless dog have no code of honor. We'll make you walk the plank. Johnny, maybe we should leave Mario the pleasure of wrapping things up here. <laughs> I guess we'll have to take our disguises now. Group formation! So, our main man himself, Yardwich. In the immediate boss fight, when we start the episode. Pretty good! So, Yardwich, he is basically our boss to grab our star piece we just gave him at the end of um, the sea. So if you thought we were done with the sea with boss fights after fighting King Calamari and fighting um, J uh, Jonathan Johnny Jones, no, you're wrong. We still got to fight more. But it's pretty good that uh, your, your, um, your action for all this shit is still not going to be diminished. Also, the reason why I keep peaching here is because group hug is very good. So uh, that's why I kept peaching apart and I just switch off the Bowser for Gino. Because buffs are good and we need to do damage to Yardovich. And I will say this. Um, Yardovich is pretty, pretty simple. And I will say that um, he also does another glitch in the game. Where if you have Bowser... In the party, which I really am sad that I couldn't put him in, but I need I want to switch out parties to make uh party combinations. But um after that, if you have Bowser in your party on the second slot again, in a certain part of the fight, um it'll do the same thing as we saw back in Booster's Tower, where you saw the Remo Con making some of the uh inputs glitch about Mirage Attack. So, here's phase two, where we get to fight two Yardoviches. And I will say this. Since they're split up in two, they can attack in two. But I will say this, and you saw a little icon on it. Hopefully, we can get what I want to do. Hopefully we can get to what I want to do. Oh, that's 20 damage, baby. I'll do damage on him. And this is Meteor Blast. Ah, Meteor Blast, pretty strong. Oh, let's say this though. If you hear any like audio cuts, any like differences in audio in general, I just foregore my old capture card and started using my Elgato because a bunch of troubleshooting. There we go. As you can see, and I will make a caveat from when we first got Gino World, just so you guys can hear it instead of their text on screen. Every enemy is weak to Gino World. They all instantly die from Gino World. Every boss, though, is not weak to Gino World, except for two caveats. One you've already seen before through the icon on the screen, which is some of King Calamari's tentacles. The second is Yardovich's clone. Because to know if it's correct is if you saw that blue flash. 
when you see that blue flash you already know that it worked and it's very funny to speed up this fight so that's the only reason why i brought gino to this fight but in general i might keep him for the next area we're going to so we can just regress but yeah like basically your is clone is weak to um to Gino so you can actually just speed up the pro speed up the fight a lot more you can just take up the the mirage in general it's very funny it really is but if you don't know about it this uh fight takes a lot longer and in general I feel like we're not doing as much damage as we could I feel like and I don't know that's for sure but yeah hopefully hopefully hopefully, hopefully we, none of us die 27. Ooh, baby. Peach is at 30. All right, we're done with the boss fight. Simple boss fight, and even more funnier if you have Gino in the party. So, Gino's not level 15. Um, I will say this, though, other than uh, getting this whole uh, El Elgato to work after we get this cutscene. Smithy's now in the race for the star pieces. What horrible surprises might have in store for Mario. We get the shed key. And to Mario. Knowing ye must be a breeze and knocking down yard, eh? By the way, me pipes I say they saw a huge axe flying across the sky. Probably one of Smithy's nasty friends. Go get him, pal. Well, me gins are failing on me, so I'd head be heading back down. Drop whenever ye have a time, okay? Your true mate, Jonathan Johnny Jones. <coughs> so, yeah. After you beat Yardovich, the creepy town music goes away. And, well, you can go to this door, use the key, and all the residents of Ro or Rosan, a seaside town here. Oh, thank you so much. I've had enough of this cramped, dirty old place like this. Hey, fella, you got any, you got any sort of a mind? Peace, brother. Maybe I'm unpleasant in here. Thanks for helping us out. Thank you. Yeah, thanks a lot. Be sure to stop by. Yeah, stop on by. Thank you for freeing us. I've got to go back to work now. But stop by the end. See you there. And here's the last person. Ah, Mario. Thank you for saving us from our little town of seaside. You exposed the fake townspeople and gave up your star to save us. Please take this with our thanks. Receive the flower box. I will say this. If you say no every time um, to give the star to Yardovich, he will come in here and uh, punish the elder. I don't know if you get a worse reward for uh, doing that. I might just put it in text right now. But the flower box is what you get normally if you don't do the punishment, which, if anything, it's a good one. Five flower points. But yeah, since the town's not open, for this one, in instance, Beatles are us. Welcome to Beatles are us. We're running a beetle, be beetle business here. The fuck? Want an explanation? Sure. Okay, I'll explain the system. First, you need to purchase a beetle box, which will cost you 50 coins. Then go to Booster Hill, where there are many beetles. If you bring back the beetle box filled with beetles, you can trade them for coins and etc. Check the menu list for more information. Beetle bugs price. Male, 50. Female, 1. Golden beetle, 1 frog coin. So yeah, if you just want to like grind up coins in general, uh, you just go to buy the beetle box and go to, uh, to Booster's Hill. It's a cool little minigame. But here we go. Welcome to my weapon shop. And I will say this, this shop here has every single, um, yeah, has every single, um, fuck, every single weapon you've had before. So from Knock Knock Shell down, they're all basically repeats, except for this little hammer here. This hammer is actually a pretty lucky hammer. And I will say this, when I was actually researching this for this entire LP, and in general, when I was researching um, how to do the glitch back in World or Area 1 with Mac, I saw a video 
about the Lucky Hammer from Swanky Box. I will put the video in the description for that video. But in general, I never knew about this hammer. And I rather will, and I will show you what it does. I think for some people who watch this, they don't know about the Lucky Hammer. But let's just say this. This hammer is different from the normal hammer we got in the beginning of the game. But let's just get the new uh, weapons we can get. Trooper Shell, Parasol, Double Punch, and Ribbit Stick. Oh, I'm out of uh, inventory. Beautiful. I actually didn't know there was a, a limit. Probably just sell my uh, equipment. All right, I'll just sell my equipment then. There we go. And now we can buy the uh, the rivet stick. That's actually, that's, something, that, that's something I didn't know actually. Oh yeah, let's go to the Lucky Hammer because if we go to the uh, Knock Knock Show, we get the uh, the one. So yeah, there's a normal hammer here, which is the beginning one, and then there's a normal hammer we have here. Pound enemies. It's weaker than the actual hammer we got in the beginning of the game. pretty good so let's just change every single <laughs> let's just change every single weapon except the hurley glove and you please come in browse i'm running an armor shop every armor we have seen before also comes back so the sailor stuff all our old stuff as well Um, I, I did put the hammer and I will go to uh, fight to show you what the lucky hammer does. And if anything, we are going to go back instead of going make more progress. We are going to go back. I can speak, guys. We're going to go back to uh, uh, Moville for a specific item and Booster's Tower to show something. Hi, Mario. We got a lot of health foods out of store. You got to treat your body, right? So here is our next um item shop. So we get all the items you can currently get so mushrooms mid mushrooms honey syrups maple syrups pick me up able fresh and freshen up and i think i might actually we have two left and uh i think i'm pretty decent to that i might just sell the uh might throw the rest of my honey syrups down the drain if i want some but in general these are pretty good pretty good item uh area because we still have peach with uh, a bunch of our shit going here we get to the mushroom boy Hey, 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 I'm the Mushroom Boy. Did you know that there's hidden amongst the regular mushrooms there are some special ones? Unreal, huh? I'll give you an item in return for those special mushrooms, but you gotta taste them to find out what kind they are. So I'll take a nibble first. I'm hoping for a special mushroom, but if it even isn't, I still got a meal out of it. So when he means by special mushrooms, your best bet, <laughs> see you around, man, come again, all right? The bet, um, what he means by special mushrooms is that if you go to Forced Maze, legitimately, uh, every mushroom there has a chance of becoming a special mushroom. Every mushroom you've gotten before is a normal mushroom. Sister shop. Oh, hello there. You're so brave to rescue us, and I'm so thankful. But listen, maybe some of you thought a little about more what you wear. Accessorizing is a big business these days. The other thing you like here. So, every other uh, thing we've found is also here. So, it's pretty good. Amulet's not here because you get that from Booster. And any of the items you get from um, the treasure chest boxes don't show up either. Go back to the elder and we can talk to him. Mario, if it's a star that you're looking for, I may be able to help you. At the far side of Land's End is a town made up of reformed monsters. A mouse came by the other day and I overheard him boasting about a star of theirs. I don't know exactly where this town is located, but if you follow the road, you'll get there. So we got our new hint for our new direction we gotta go, which is Land's End and... The town with the reformed monsters. And I will say this. From the time we finish this LP, or this LP, this video, yes, when I finish the LP, I'm gonna go buy ship. By the time this video is done, I might go to Midas River Course and grind up a couple of uh <clears throat> a couple of uh frog coins because this is a beautiful fucking thing. 
and I might grab it for a uh, princess. <laughs> but yeah, enough lollygagging around here. We're going to go back to Moville to go uh, buy some stuff from the treasure hunting toad, if you remember him. Oh, there aren't many people passing through, so it gets awful lonely sometimes. 15 coins to rest up. Huh. But yeah, go here to Land's End and we can actually progress with the game and with our new party, we can have fun. But instead of that, we're going to Molehill. Molehill, let's go. Also, as you can see, the, uh, the hut of where the person was has been saved. So let's go here. Talk to this guy. Good to see you again. I'll show you my inventory. Item two, a mystery egg. I have no idea what it does. It sort of grows on you, huh? It's just for 200 coins. Sure. <coughs> That's all he got for now. He's missing one more item, and I will say this, we will get it before the end of the game. But to uh, make this uh, mysterious egg work, we need something to actually make it work. Meaning I got to get rid of the safety badge from the princess and give her back the veto ring. <clears throat> Man, my throat's killing me. So hungry, wish I had a carbo cookie. I will actually do the uh, quest again for the carbo cookie to see if anything happens. But other than that, we're going to go back to Booster's Tower to uh, see um, what we can do there. Because actually, you can go back and you will get something. And I will say this, um, to anyone who's actually played this game before, there is a certain area you can go to with a specific item. I will go to that specific item before a certain point. <clears throat> and uh, if anything, this is gonna be funny to do it there before we finish the game. Come back here, give this person a carbo cookie and they will give you the frog coin that they misplaced. Well, other than that, I'm just going to go sell my kiddo kiddo colas because I need the money. <clears throat> my throat is killing me for doing a pirate voice. Funny. Oh, yeah. If you really, really, really need the money, you can sell one of your flower boxes. But why would you? I think you get enough money from it from as it is. And I think there's a later or basically the frog coin item that gives you more uh, money. But back to Booster's Tower we go. And we get to look around. But yeah, since Booster is out of here, there's no uh, enemies placing around other than the, um, I almost said displacing one, the uh, normal ones. Now you may be wondering why I'm here again to, uh, to fight. I'm here to grind. I'm sorry, guys. Sorry, I didn't tell you this. No, I'm not. <laughs> Run away, please. Thank you. I don't want to fight anyone. Ah, you piece of shit. Well, I'm, I'm just beat him up. Double punch is basically just a double punch, double rocket punch. Also, if anything, I will say this. By the time I'm recording this episode, um. The first ever episode of Super Mario RPG is actually uploaded on the channel. Cool. And uh, I'm actually starting to uh, do thumbnails. Hopefully the thumbnails are good and hopefully you really don't hate the uh, red, like the yellow text with red uh, outline because that's literally how the game title is. If you hate it, I'm sorry, but it's only for like the part name and that's it. So here's Knife Guy. <laughs> I'm really, really sorry about before. Here, I'll make it up to you. <laughs> Are we having fun yet? <laughs> oh, that was just practice. This time's for real. What are you up to it? <laughs> sure. Guess which hand the yellow ball's in, if you can. Now watch carefully. So which hand is it? Touch the hand you think the ball is holding. Very good. You have the prize to the winner. We got a wilt shroom. 
yeah basically you can come to come to this guy or come to knife guy and see what you ball the uh the hands in and it's pretty funny of what happens it's just something minor but i will say this later on you can't come back here again to get something else from knife guy to uh have fun oh yeah let's just go to the top of the tower and it'd be funny if we actually get to the top of the tower and we just uh jump off the side of the building again but the whole point of the world troops is that they're uh they're bad it's really just a wilted mushroom I will say this though if there's anything else to do with knife guy i will do it in a separate episode when we actually have to go back here for a different reason so uh whatever happens happens and if we we if we have to do this shit again i will just time lapse it i will just speed up the video so you don't have to see uh the bullshit but i will show this now since mario will come after peach the lucky hammer it missed that's it that's what the lucky hammer does it gives you a guaranteed miss no i'm fucking with you guys let's do this again mario there you go it's a guaranteed lucky that's pretty much it the lucky hammer when you do the action command correctly it's a guaranteed uh it's a guaranteed uh lucky so if you really want to uh, use a lucky go keep the lucky hammer but your attack goes so low compared to like the trooper shell so yeah i'm just gonna stick with the uh lucky jewel if you want the luck you get the luck but the trooper shell is a lot better than the uh, lucky hammer uh, come on Actually, we will do something else as well in this fight that I will be doing um, onward from probably in general the fights. So go to your items and go to the uh, mystery egg and use it. If you have Peach with the Beetle Ring, when you use the mystery egg, that's it. That's pretty much it. Use it 10 times and you will get something from that egg. But other than that, uh, I don't think it's worth it. But in general, have fun. I, I'm trying to show everything in the game. Fucking hell, dude. 23 minutes and we are still at Booster's Tower because goddamn, not having the coins on the ground is a fun idea. Rocket punch. And we're getting another lucky. I will say this though, um, when I was doing with my Elgato, um, I've been trying to rescale some of my um, cropping to uh, make some uh, things connect, some things fit in the uh, the screen and all that. And I went on a, like a small rant on Discord about uh, about like the aspect ratios because to anyone who's played like the Wii U. You know that the aspect ratio for N64 games are pretty good and then till the gameplay and then it just becomes a small screen. It's pretty funny. So yeah, go here. Get to the top, everything's still in place. I wonder when my next bride will fall from the sky. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Booster is just hanging outside, hanging, uh, or not hanging, but just like waiting outside the, uh, the, uh, well, I can speak from the, uh, from the balcony. And he's just waiting for his next bride to be to fall from the sky, which I find very funny. And I will say this actually, when I've actually been uh, editing again some of the videos I've recorded before. And uh, one thing I'll say is that Star Hill, when I wrote down all the uh, 
the uh the names for the uh, wishes um uh, actually two wishes change based on uh what happens i'm not gonna say what but if you know the game or if you have a pretty decent idea god damn it if you have a pretty decent idea of what to do you're gonna be fine and i will show them after we do the specific thing i will go back and uh, show what those uh two things are and there's the parasol it's basically just a fucking parasol F uh peach finally remembered that she had a uh, umbrella and is using it to fight god fucking damn it i'm trying not to get into that many fights and i'm getting into many fights please send help so yeah um oh really that was beautiful me gotta waste an extra turn i will say this though um we are almost done with this game <laughs> Uh, from my notes and from the enemy cards I have left, we are missing two more areas. And uh, that after those two areas is basically the end of the game. So we are almost done with this. And uh, it's pretty funny that how short this game is. This is an SNES game, first and foremost. But uh. I didn't expect this LP to be uh, this uh, short. So go through here. Ooh. So now that we're normal booster tower and um, Moleville to get the uh, mystery egg, we still have an enough time to go start Land's End and just make progress or we could just go all the way back to now i'm kidding yeah i'll wait for a bit but to lands and we go and it's a convenient safe point five star pieces and we get to have fun so go here if you do that, you get a uh, better thing. And we get one of the best items in the game. The red essence. The whole point of the red essence is that it's a uh, pretty good item. It's a really, really good item. So, the whole point of the red essence is like it's uh, a, a power up for every, or for a party member, I think. And uh, the red essence is the only item in the game. Yeah, you won't be attacked for three turns during battle. Um, the red essence is the only item in the game that has a 13% chance of getting a freebie. Every item in the game has a 26. It's very funny. But I will say this. Am I going to use it? Probably not. But, we got new enemies. So we ain't done with these enemy cards yet. God damn it, I wanted to use the egg again. But basically, we are just like back in a uh, Booster Hill-esque area. And I will say this. Um, when I did the... Uh, the uh, episode where I had where I couldn't get the uh, Karabakis, um show up. He's actually one of the few um, enemies, and I know I said this before with the Krusty, is that he's one of the few enemies that has an actual palette swap and a character or an uh, enemy in the game that also has a uh, missed, uh, not misused, a, um, a missing or a separate texture for an enemy that doesn't exist yet, which is actually is the uh, radish, which should be on screen. It's basically just the white uh, Karabakis. Proboscis, I think it's it's carried in proboscis, like a proboscis monkey, but it, that's how it says. And it's pretty funny that there is a texture for that. 
I know as I said later if you see more enemies, we will see more enemies and I will put their uh their separate uh or their missing uh brethren and uh in arms for uh fighting. So Bowser is now level 15 and he learns Crusher. And I will say this, Crusher is our only earth type move in the game. I mean, it makes sense that the the, the, the king of all Koopas would get a, uh, a, uh, the ground. I can make commentary, guys. <laughs> I can make commentary, guys. I have not lost my touch at all. I don't know what to do for this one, though. Damn. That sucks. I'll find out, I'll find out how to do that normally. But yeah, go through here, and we get more enemies. And I will say this. Um... I think most of these enemies are like two sets of enemies, so you could just like literally come here and uh, fight a bunch of enemies at once. Uh, but in general, the only reason the enemies are here is to uh, be a nuisance when you're platforming. So you have to uh, keep making time worse. If you do fall down though, the cannon without an enemy going into it will uh, ha will send you back to the area. And uh, that whole thing of the um, the cannon is that if you press the jump button, when you hear the ding, you actually get more height than if you just press it when you see it. Ooh, Peach is dead. That's not good. Pick me up, go. So, let's just uh, go use the mystery egg again. Hopefully, we get better or better odds of cracking it open. Damn, 32 minutes. We're almost at time for uh, finishing this. And Mario's all 16. But yeah, anytime um, and you see the enemies, they'll just go back to the cannon and there's just two sets of enemies. So if you want to fight them, go ahead. I ain't gonna stop you. But, uh, but yeah. Damn it. I wanted to use the egg again. I keep autopiloting. Autopiloting sucks. Good damage. <sighs> yeah, um, basically my, oh yeah, basically my party is gonna be uh, Peach, Mario, and Gino for the entirety of Land's End. And when we get to the next area, I will switch up the party again. And for one final time, and then I'm gonna just pick the same, the final team I want for the final world of the game. But with um, four interchangeable party members, you have like, I think a set 12. Cause you have Mario and Mallow. And then you got Mario, Mallow, Peach, Mario, Mallow, Jano, Mario, Mallow, Gino, Mario, Mallow, Bowser. And then you got Mario, Gino, Bowser, Mario, Gino, Peach. And then you got Mario, Gino, or Mario, Bowser and Peach. And that's all the, uh, they do it again, like so six different uh, ways to play the game. And uh, I think we've already gone through four because we did Mario, uh, Mario, Mallow, Peach or Mario, Mallow, Gino, basically when we got him in Force Maze. And we've done Mario, Bowser, Gino when we got to Booster's Tower. And we've done Mario, P 
Peach Bowser for the entirety of the ship or area four. We're going to be doing Mario, Peach, Gino for area five. And I will say the we're say remaining two for when we get to the final two areas, we can do it on because if anything, I didn't plan this, but for where we're going, I feel like I need metal, not for uh, ways of doing damage. But if you remember what we got in Star Hill, you know what happens to Star Hill. Yes, I'm still stalling for more time. <laughs> I, I can imagine trying to play a game and speak at the same time. What a novel concept that would be. Uh, tack up. Oh, I'll take that. And if you don't beat the Shy Away, he needs the last one. The Shy Away will just fly away. And we were out of time because I was wasting so much time. But yeah, Peach learns mute. Mute basically what we've been getting a bunch, so you can just mute enemies for doing special attacks. Go here. Two more enemies. But those bees do follow you if they do follow you. They're like the ones from the horse maze. But with that out of the way, these enemies can't grab you. So next time on Super Mario RPG, we're going to be continuing with Lands and and hopefully getting to the town of reformed monsters. Hopefully we won't trigger any um, stress when we arrive. Thank you all for watching and talk to you all then.